fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. His great strength and courage made him the hero of countless adventures, and the stories of his deeds have been handed down through the generations. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading back to Pecos! Travel's waiting on the trail ahead. Hi, old silver. Away. As our story begins, old Missouri, top hand at the Lazy J Ranch, is in a Pecos cafe talking with several of his friends. <laughs> I tell you, gents. I never seen a man as put out in all my life. <laughs> Morton has tried every way a man can think of to keep Mustang Mag from keeping her ranch, and we lift him at every turn. Uh, you and Mag better be on guard, that's all I can say. Them's my sentiments, too. Gans, do you really think that critter Morton would have the nerve to try some other scheme to get the lazy J? Ain't hey, no question about it. Gosh, maybe I'd better start worrying all over again. Doggone it all. I figured we'd come to the end of the trouble with Morton. Just remember one thing, Missouri. Now, what's that? Morton ain't got to be the biggest landowner in the Pecos region by giving up easy. Yes, sir, gents. I've got some worrying to do. Pardon me, gents. Well, stranger. My name's Higgins. Welcome to Pecos, Mr. Higgins. Uh, this is Duke. Uh, this here is Missouri, and my name's Al. Set yourself down and relax. I'm only stopping by hoping to get a smidge of information. Well? I, um... I've got a herd of sheep outside of town. Sheep? A sheep herder? I'm only out and out there. Well, only and one only day. sheep herder coming in here like he was quality and associating with cow men like us. Why, Dad, my Rabbit, head is I... as good as ever. Hold it. Just don't speak up too brash, Mr. Higgins, because it might lead to trouble. You're in company that ain't none too healthy for a sheep grower. I reckon I savvy. State your business, and then I'd advise you to shove on. I'm looking for the lazy jay. You're a looking for what? Land sakes, Mr. Did Ray. I hear you say the lazy jay? <laughs> yes. Well, you're looking at the top hand of the lazy jay right now. I'm Missouri. I wanted to see Mustang Mag. I reckon she owns it, don't she? She owns it, and that's all. I'm the top hand. If you'll tell me how to get there, I'd be downright appreciative. I'm done if I will. There ain't no time for sheep men, and neither is Mustang Mag, and neither is the Lazy J. I've got a message for her, that's all. I'll take that message. I don't know about that, Mr. Missouri. Well, I'll... I do. I'll take it easy, Missouri. First thing you know, your fighting blood will get roused up, then the sheriff will have to slam you into the calaboose. It's a letter. I got it here. That... Uh, what's that you dropped? Oh, just a cartridge I was told to hand to Mustang Mag along with the letter. Oh, here you are. Mr. Higgins, you... What's the matter, Duke? Have a look at this cartridge, Al. Huh? 
Silver. That's what I thought. Say, who gave you this letter? I can't say another thing. Now, if you'll tell me how to get the Lazy J, I'll deliver this. If you won't, I'll have to try and find it for myself. Hey, that letter must be from my partner. Y your partner? Sure, the Silver Bullet, the Lone Ranger. Come on, Higgins. I'll take you to Mustang, Mag. So long, gents. I'll see you later. Come on, Higgins. Hell. Yeah, Duke? Six horses couldn't drag me out in Pecos right now. I wouldn't miss what's coming for a hundred dollars. Oh, what's coming? What do you mean? A lone ranger picking a sheep man to fetch a letter to Mustang Mag. By Ginger, there's something behind that or my name ain't Duke Miller. Missouri questioned the sheep herder as they rode to the Lazy J Ranch House. But Higgins' replies were unsatisfactory. As the two dismounted near the house, the patience of the foreman was exhausted. He said, I never in all my born days see the man as cantankerous as you are, Higgins. You don't tell me where you met the masked man, where your sheep is at right now, or anything else that would satisfy my craving for knowledge. I got to deliver this letter to Mustang Man. That's all I heard for the last half hour. Blast your hide. There's the house, and like as not, she's right inside. Now go on, deliver the dad ratted hunk of paper. Who are you out there, Missouri? There she is. Who are you, stranger? Where you want her on the lane to Jay? You must be Mustang Mag. I am? I got a letter for you and a silver bullet to show that it come from a friend of yours. Silver bullet? Land safe. From my friend, Mag, from the old ranger. Open her up fast and let's see what he's got to say. You go put your horse where it belongs. Sure I will, Mag. But I'm just all fired anxious to know how my friend is and where he's at. I told you to put your horse in the corral. Sure, but is there a rush about it? When I give an order, I want it carried out. Now go do as you're told. Ah, come on, you hay-burning, four-legged galoot. His curiosity roused me to distraction sometimes. Well, let's see what the man who writ this has to say. Did he give you this personal? Yes, sir. And he gave me particular instructions to go with it. So he says. Hmm. Doggone curious. Hard to believe he read it. That's why he sent the silver bullet. He figured you might have doubts about it. Well, so you got a herd of sheep, eh? Yeah. You won't need ready cash or you're willing to sell them to me at a low price? Just so. Sounds like a right smart notion. By darn, I'll bet it would rankle old Missouri plenty. For special reasons, Mustang Mag, I got to have cash now. Got to send it east to my folks. So he says here. Yeah. Oh, where's the critters now? Uh, on open range, the other side of the Pecos. I got a herder and some dogs are watching them. All right, Higgins, it's a deal. I'll do what the Lone Ranger says and trust to him to get me out of things. Hey, old Missouri. I'm a-coming, Mag. I'm a-coming. Get to the house here. We got some papers for you to sign your name to. I just finished putting the horse out and saddle up. Uh, what'd you let her say, Mag? What's so special about it? Uh, I'm going to make out a bill of sale and hand this gent some cash. I want you as a witness to the proceedings. Me? Oh, sure. Sure. I'm a darn good witness, Mag. <laughs> Missouri, we don't have much stock now after shipping these. Nothing but a few yelling. And just so, Mag. So I'm buying this gent's flock of sheep. That'll be right fine. What? What is that? I says, Missouri, I'm buying Higgins' sheep. You're not kidding me. Mag, you can't do it. You can't herd sheep. And who's to stop me? I can herd what I darn well please. And if you don't want to stay on here, just quit. But, Mag, your reputation. What'll folks say? What'll all the cattlemen say? What'll the association say? You can't double-cross everyone. You can't buy sheep. We all agreed to let no sheep get in here. Mag, leap and roll, snakes, Come you... Come on in the you... house and shut up. I'm still buying a lot of wool on the hoof. Uh, they hang folks for less. They might hang you. They'll drive you out. The men are all on the side of Morton. Mag, you're just the same as stealing open rangeland. Oh, Mag, don't do it. Hang it all. Don't be stubborn this time. Think it over, Mag. Don't do it. I tell you, don't do it. News spread to Pecos. The ranchers, knowing that sheep would ruin the open range for cattle grazing, 
were at a loss to understand Mustang Mag's actions. They felt that she had betrayed them, that she had violated her agreement with the other cattlemen. They fumed and raged, threatened and stormed at her house. You can't do it, Lone Stand. You can't bring sheep in here. No. You gotta get rid of them, Mag. That's all it is for. Now, listen to me, you pack of loud talking galoots. All right, listen to what you've got to say. Listen to me. As long as I run the lazy jay, I'll do what a doggone well please. Morton has made a special study of the laws around here, and he does what he pleases, being careful not to break a law and land in jail. Well, blast your hides, I'll do that same. If you think I can't herd sheep, go read your law. While public sentiment ran high against Mustang Mag, Higgins appeared at Morton's ranch and said, I'm willing to do most anything for cash. I thought that before Mag herded them sheep into the valley, I, uh, I might be able to fix up the lazy J water holes. Fix them up? Yeah. Oh. With some stuff I got. It's a sort of medicine. It'll make the sheep terrible sick for a time. You savvy? Yeah. But they'll get over it. As long as a man don't drink none of the water, it'll be all right. I wouldn't want to poison nobody. Sure not. There won't be none of the stuff to be put into the well near Mag's house, just in the water holes where the sheep will drink. What about her livestock? They won't touch the water holes, not if the sheep's using them. She'll water the cattle at Gopher Creek. Where do you figure on getting cash for that? Now, as I says, Martin, the sheep won't be seriously hurt at all. Just sick, and they'll look bad. Then what? The whole thing is just this. Mag bought them sheep, figuring on selling them right soon to a man that's coming through. She knows that folks won't stand for her keeping sheep. They'll run her out of the region. That's what I'm counting on. Just so. She has to sell them soon, and I'd hang around myself and wait for this eastern gent, but I can't. I got to have cash quick, then get. So if he don't like the looks of the sheep and don't buy them, she'll be stuck with them. Sure. And every man around will help to run her out. Not even the lawman will be on our side. You know how the laws are overlooked when sheep come into cattle country. Higgins, you get. Huh? I figured you might pay me. I says to... get. The idea you thinking I'd pay you to poison water holes. Go on, out of that door and keep traveling. Get going. I'll help you along with gun lead. Travel, I'll shoot your heels. Hey, boss. Boss, what's the shooting for? Oh, uh, Butch. Glad you got here. Come on inside. Who was the hombre that just skedaddled so fast? That's Higgins, the sheep herder. Butch, he's given me a slick idea. Yeah? Now listen, Butch. What's the stuff that can be put into water and make sheep powerful, sick, and bad looking for a time without hurting them permanently? I don't know, but I can find out. Lefty knows sheep pretty well. You find out. I got the slickest idea a man could have. Meg's leaving her land. <laughs> but she don't know it yet. Two men rode among the herd of sheep some distance from Mag's ranch. One wore a mask and the other was an Indian. This will be the real test of Morton's life, Tonto. Mm, that's right. If he's honest, he'll have nothing to be concerned about. But the man is not honest. He'll trap himself this time unless something goes wrong. Tonto, hope that's true. What's the matter, Silver Old Boy? Hear someone? Rider, come that way. It's too dark to see who it is. I can hear the horse, though. There, him. Hello there. Oh, now. Oh, oh. This is the Higgins flock, isn't it? It was. He sold out. That's what I mean. I'm his brother. We've been waiting for you. I couldn't come until... Are you masked? Yes. What were you going to say? But you... You're a masked man. You go on. You waited until you got the latest price on sheep, didn't you? Uh, yes, but uh, that mask, you... You say my brother sold his sheep? He has. But I told him I... He knew I was coming. I was to meet him here. I wanted to be sure you got here. A lot depends on that. Now we can ride away. Ready, Tonto? Uh, you're ready. But who bought this flop? Who are you and what do you... You can ask your brother when you see him. He'll have a lot to tell you. But You'll I... learn everything later. Come, Tonto. Uh, Good luck, friend. Get him up. Strong oh. Silver! Howard! The Lone Ranger will return in just a moment. But first, we have a message from your announcer.
Now to continue our story. On the day following his talk with Higgins, Morton and his top hand headed toward the office of the sheriff in Pecos. <laughs> There's sure a lot of sentiment again, Mustang Mag, ain't they, Butch? That's all you hear around the town. Reckon it'll be right nice to have a talk with the sheriff about things. Oh, who, who, oh, they, who? Oh. Sure enough, well, <coughs> now you let me do all the talking. I don't hanker to talk. Maybe you can talk yourself into the good graces of the sheriff now that he sees there's reason to want Mustang Mag drove out. Howdy, Sheriff. Oh, uh, howdy, Morton. What's the matter with you? You look like he was watching a ghost or something. You sick or ailing? Oh, no, step right in. You shut the door behind you. Thanks for the invite. Now stand over there. What the Sam? Quick, the Lone Ranger. Stand against the wall and keep your hands above the hips. I'll fire at your first sudden move. Sorry, gents, but the masked man was behind the door there, and I couldn't warn you. What are you doing here? Calling on the sheriff, Morton. I wanted to find out just how willing he was to see the law carried out. For what? Mustang Mag has sheep. We know that. You we keep don't... out of this, Butch. My business here is purely with the sheriff himself. I told you that I'd do my best to see the law enforced. But me and two deputies can't find every cowman in the Pecos region if they take it into their heads to drive out Mustang Mag and her confounded sheep. And that's what they're going to do, Sheriff. I'm warning you. I guess we understand each other now, Sheriff. I reckon so. I'll see you again. Well, get that arm Hold it, Morton. Can't read it all. If only I could get a shot at him. I wouldn't if I was you. I didn't see his horse. Left that around back. There, you savvy now? Yeah, I savvy. What was you and him scheming? You heard why he was here. It didn't seem as if he'd come here just for that. Maybe not. Maybe he come on something else. It's none of your business. What are you here for? Just to tell you that I know how you're trying all the time to get reason to slap me in a calaboose. And if Meg is driven from her land, I ain't going to take the blame for it. Your doggone near through letter to Mass, man. That would have put you in jail. If it hadn't been anyone else who was to have been shot in the back, I'd almost have let you do it. Just to have an excuse to jail you. <laughs> If that's what you're waiting for, you'll have a good long wait. Get up, Stone! What the? It's the engine. Both of them in town. What are they doing here? The Lone Ranger held Silver to a slow gallop, and Tonto quickly overtook him. Then as the two left the town behind, the masked man said, I'm glad to know that's how the sheriff feels about Morton Tonto. Sheriff, tell him just that. And I'm sure we can count on him. Too bad Morton had to come in just while I was there. But the sheriff heard enough. Uh, He'll play the game along with Mustang Mag and you and I. And now what me do? You'll stand guard. You'll watch the Lazy J. And when the next move is made, you'll signal me. Hi-o, Silver! Away! Old Missouri argued and complained, but Mustang Mag stood firm, and in due time, a hundred head of sheep were driven into her valley ranch. The ranch that was so greatly desired by Morton that he was willing to go to almost any lengths to secure it. Missouri sat stubbornly on the porch of Mag's home, rocking in an easy chair. He muttered to himself, Doggone if I'll take a hand. I'll be blasted and hogtied if I'll turn to wrangling sheep. It's an insult to look for a man like me to do it. Then the house door opened. And Mag slammed it hard. Ah, Juniper! No. Uh, Mag, you shouldn't do such things. Takes a life. I thought somebody'd fired a six gun under me. Sitting here wasting time. Why, Dad, Rad, your wrinkled hide, your stubbornness is going to drive me to distraction. Get off in that chair. Won't do it. So there. I said, get up. All right, all right. If you're going to make an issue out of it, I'm up. Now step smart. We got plenty of business to take care of. What sort of business? I got to fix it so we can sell them sheep. Sell them? You ain't gonna keep them? You think I want a pack of sheep for cluttering up meringue? Uh, but Mag, I, I thought it. I figured it. I had the notion. You think and figure too blame much, Missouri. Who said anything about keeping the sheep? I was just buying them for the investment. Well, don't. Gone. There's a man due here inside the next few days. He'll be buying them from me. I didn't see no letters come here. What none? Then how'd you know this hombre was coming? Missouri, stop asking questions and go tend to sheep. See the fence good so they don't get to the creek. And see they get plenty of water from the water holes. I reckon if the cows can stand a few days of the sheep being here, you ought to be able to. <laughs> As 
Missouri and the other Lazy J men felt relieved when they learned the sheep would not be on the ranch long. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger watched the valley from a distant hill by day while Tonto stood watch at night. Then, after several days and nights, Tonto saw the dark form of a man creep cautiously to each one of the water holes. The Indian gave the shadowy form time to get out of the valley. And then... No. We go. Get him up, Scout. Tonto headed for the well-hidden camp in the hills where the Lone Ranger was waiting. When he arrived there, he brought Scout to a rearing halt. Oh, oh, Scout, oh, oh. Tonto. The masked man was awake and on his feet in an instant. Him, him go there. You're sure of that? Tonto, sure. Here, Silver. Give me a hand, Tonto. I don't want to lose any time in cinching up. Me, go. You know where you're to go. Tonto, get Sheriff. That's right. And I'm going to ride for Morton. Uh, Silver, Silver, ready now. Don't forget your punch. Tonto, not forget. Now we go. Yes, get along. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver. Riding like the wind, the masked man raced from Mustang Mag's ranch over the hills and into the adjoining land that Morton owned. When he reached Morton's house... Oh, 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 oh. Don't brace for guns. You, what the is this for? Morton, I want you. Are you see here? Get a butcher. I'll show you. Uh, my hand. Don't try another gun. I'll have you jailed for this. No, you won't, Morton. You're coming with me. Get your hands off Come me. Come on, I want to talk to you. So does Mustang Mag. For what? Come along. Butch, get the boys. Get them and stop them. Let me go. Bless you. Let me back, go. Butch. I'm taking your boss to call on Mustang Mag. <laughs> It was late in the evening, but Mustang Mag's house was lighted, and Missouri was there, complaining as usual. Said dog gone many plans and never seen in all my life. Mag, are you sure you know what you're doing? If you doubt that I know what I'm doing, get back to the bunkhouse. If you hanker to stay here and satisfy that ornery curiosity of yours, keep quiet and do what you're told. Is everything set in the other room? Yeah, something just like what you says. You bully you. Then shut the door there. I hear Wolf coming now. Maybe that's Morton. Oh, 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 oh. It is. That's the mask man. It's Morton as well. You'll see. Come on in. I'm ready for you. Morton didn't want to come at first, Mag. If this is some sort of a trick, I'll have you all jailed. Shut the door and sit down. What's the idea of having that man get me like he done? Why couldn't you just send word you want to see me? I asked the mask man to get you, and I didn't care how. Morton? You still hanker to buy this outfit? Uh, I don't know why. It looks like I may have to sell out. <laughs> yeah? I feared the Carmen will chase you on account of the sheep, eh? I ain't said so. Uh, Missouri, get a pitcher of water. Yes, sir. I don't know as I'm interested in buying right now. I thought you figured on selling the sheep. I gave you that idea, Morton. Well, I don't know. But one man knowed that, and that's Mr. Higgins. You talk to him? Why should I? There's the water. I reckon it must be dry after your ride, ain't you? Yeah, yeah. I just figured I'd see how high it'd go for the ranch, and then if the price is high enough... I don't know as I'm interested. But sorry, better go fill the pail again. You gotta go way out to the water hole, you know. What's that? What's the matter with the water? Oh, I'm having trouble with the well. Missouri got a pail from one of the holes a while ago, but slopped most of it tote in a bag. What? What's the matter with you? I thought the water tasted salty. It's poisoned. That water's poisoned. You're crazy, Morton. We've been using it right along. I tell you, it's poisoned. Get me a doctor. Get me cured before I die. How do you know it's poisoned? What makes you think so? What's done it? I tell you, I know. Hurry, help me. What's poisoned the water hole? Is that what you say? Yes, yes, you gotta help me. Why did he do that? Don't ask questions now. In the name of mercy, help me. Listen to me, Morton. Let go of me. You I'll just... not get help until you tell more about this poison. Later on, later on, a doctor. Something to stop the poison. I feel faint already. Oh, take the life out, baby. Why did put poison uh, in that water? Did you tell him to? Help, help. Did you? Yes, I told him to. You had the water hole poison to kill Mag's cattle? It wouldn't kill him, only the sheep. Make him sick, but it'd kill a man. You wanted to make the sheep look so poor that Mag couldn't sell them, is that it? Yes, yes, that's you it. You wanted her to keep them here so the cattlemen would turn on her. You knew she was going to sell them. Yes. You wanted to spoil that sale, isn't that right? Yes, 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 I tell you, that's the truth. That's all right then, Morton. The only thing wrong with that water... 
was that it had a little salt in it. What? And that was done, Morton, to make you confess that you poisoned the water hole. I didn't do it. You sent your top hand to do it, and that's enough to jail you on. You tricked me. If you hadn't been a crook at heart, you'd never have taken the suggestion Higgins made. And you did take that suggestion. Higgins! We all been waiting in the next room for this, Morton. You crook. All you needed was the suggestion I give you, and you acted on it. What you mean? You mean I ain't gonna die? No, but you're going to jail. I'm getting madder all the time. Just to think of that scheme and rap. Trying to poison my girl's cattle. Your girl? Meaning you. There's my brother, Mag. Yes, I'm prepared to take sheep off your hands. How do you come into this anyhow? Why did them sheep come here? Morton, I met a friend of mine, Higgins. He wanted to borrow money for a few days and leave his herd as security until his brother could get here. Mag loaned him the money. I asked Higgins to call on you with a suggestion you carried out. Yeah, and the fencing is handled so as none of the water holes will be used till they're pure again. If the sheriff wants evidence, he can draw a sample of the water. I won't need none. We got these for witnesses. I'm getting madder and madder. I'll get you for this. I'll get you. You won't get away Give with me this. room. <laughs> I just finally bowed over and had to let him have it on the chin. I reckon that'll hold him till we get cuffs on him and take him to the jail. Help me tote him outside, boys. <laughs> Your idea worked out first rate, friend. I thought Morton would find the scheme one that he could use. Now, Dad, right it, Mag, while I'm fighting mad, I'm asking what's been on my mind for ten years. Will you or won't you marry me? Sure I will. You never asked me before. I'll be glad to marry you if you make one promise, you blame old fool. What's the promise? You won't fight no more. Why should I make a promise like that? Because you don't know your own strength. Just look at Morton, honey. Why, I might have killed him, you blame old fool. <laughs> Come on there, Silver, old boy! There's danger on the trail ahead! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.